Officials are gearing up for 4th of July celebrations, anticipating crowds of people at parks and beaches. So they want to stress to the public, please keep our island clean and pick up after yourselves. Sarah Madison reports. Cans, bottles, and a lot of floaties. Disgraceful remnants after a day of fun. The city tells us there have been years when the trash from flotillas was troubling. But since the crackdown on those types of gatherings, it has gotten better. Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii has always cleaned up after people, collecting bags full of junk. But since last year, they've decided enough is enough. The reason that we stopped is because we didn't want to incentivize people that we were going to be out there cleaning up for them. We want to make sure that people are being proactive and stopping it. Officials are urging people to take responsibility because the waste that's left behind is detrimental. Particularly with plastic is a lot of animals can ingest plastic and because of the chemical components of it, it's indigestible. Also, there's a lot of studies that have come out talking about the, the problems with plastic on coral reefs, that they can actually scar the reefs and infect the reefs too. The city says park staff will be keeping the trash bins from overflowing, but people should not be placing large bulky items in or near the trash cans. And remember, have fun, but have that consciousness of what you're doing has impact. And if you have that with you as you're going about it, then there aren't going to be any problems because you're not going to leave trash behind. You're not going to leave plastics in the ocean. We looked up the penalties for criminal littering, and that's when a person knowingly drops, throws, or places litter where it doesn't belong. Offenders could face four hours of community service and pay at least $500 in fines. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.